Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you out there, wherever you are in the world. This is Samuel Anekan Udo, welcoming you to the Sam Online Academy. Today, we'll be looking at how we can actually use AutoCAD Plant 3D to model a structural scheme, to model a structural scheme for a closed drain tank. So right away, I'll go directly to the software. All took up plant really. If you watch my first video, my introductory video, which I am actually going to provide a link in the comment section, is a software that can actually be used to model structures, plants, equipment, piping, and even to generate PNIDs, piping and instrumentation diagram. So in this particular video, we'll look at how we can actually use it to model a skid. That is a skid for a closed drain vessel. That is the support on which the vessel will stand. Okay. So um, let me quickly move over to my software. So this is actually what we'll be modeling today. This is what we're modeling. This is support. This is key for a closed drain vessel. The vessel, the equipment is going to stand on this structural support. Now, this is actually made of beams. This is beams. Um, this is made of a W6 by 15 beams. So let me actually show you. This is the cross section. This is the cross section of a W6 by 15 beam. This is the flange. This is the web. This is the flange again. So this is the depth. The depth is 152 millimeter. This dimension is like millimeter. The depth is 152 millimeter. The DF is 152 millimeter as well. The thickness of the web is six millimeter. The thickness of the flange is seven millimeter. Okay. So, okay. The thickness of the um, web is actually five point something. So I think uh, is actually the way I set my listen. Let me give you the you see, the real dimensions of the listen, the real dimensions of the, the flange, not approximate. So it's actually the thickness of the web is 5.84. This is the exact dimension here, 5.84. OK. So right now, like I said, this is the structure we'll be modeling. So, so I'm going to show you the plan. This is the plan. Is the plan. This is the plan. This is the plan of the skid. This is the plan. And this is the front elevation. So these are center lines here. Center line, center line, center line, center line, center line, center line, center line. So the distance from this center line, you have one beam here, you have another one, one, two, three, four, going along the y axis. Then you have one going along the x axis, you have another one going along the x axis. So when actually you're using plan 3D, what should concern you is the center lines. When you're using plan 3D, you want to model a structure. Just try and map out the center lines that actually guides that structure. So actually, what we're concerned about is center lines. These are the center lines. Center lines here. So looking at this now, from here to here, 
from the first center line to the second center line is five, six, seven. From the second center line to the third center line is 1,350 millimeter. From the third center line to the fourth center line is 5,607. This is along the X, along the Y. From um, the first center line to, to the second one is 2,134. We have a distance of 2,134. Okay. Okay. That is the center line. So, uh -huh. so how, when you want to model, one way you can actually do is, is to construct a grid. A grid is like a kind of matrix, a kind of graph. Just like when you're plotting graph in mathematics or physics or any science related course, you have a graph book where you are not going to map out the coordinates of your X and your Y onto those graph book. When you map them appropriately on those graph book and you choose a correct scale, an appropriate scale, then what you are doing, it, your graph you're trying to plot is going to come out properly and you're going to get an accurate graph. But if you should make any mistake, either in choosing a scale or in labeling the axis, then you're going to falter. So your grid is just like that graph. Although in this case now, mostly in when we're plotting graphs, they were just X and Y. In this case, we can have a three-dimensional graph, a grid. Okay. So right now, like I said, that this is our plan. This is our front elevation. So what we need to do first and foremost is to form our grid. So how are we going to form our grid? That is question one. How are we going to form our grid? How do we form our grid? So basically, the skid we have is just at one level. Now, plan 3D. Before I go on, if you over over here, you see top, I'm on top. It gives you the liability to choose your view. Let me take it back to Southwest isometric. So the skid we're having is just a single level. Now on your coordinates, you have X, Y, and Z. Let me come over here so you can see it properly. You have X, Y, and Z. I know why this is. Let me go back here. Change this world. Okay, now it's displayed properly. Z is supposed to be up. Z is vertical. X is along this direction. X is along the east direction. Y your Y is along the north. Your X axis is along the east direction. Your Y is along the north direction. Your Z is vertical up. Okay. So this is the coordinates we have in plan 3D. So based on the figure, whatever figure you have, you want to model, you are going to now create values based on the dimensions of that object. Like now, this is along the X. Look at the center line. We are going to call it, this is the beginning of the X here. We're going to call this zero. Now, if this is zero, this point here is going to be zero plus five, six, seven. So this location is going to be five, six, seven. Next, we have this location one, zero along the X, location two, five, six, seven. This is going to be location three. This will be five, six, seven plus one, three, one, five. Since the length from here to here is one, three, one, five. And this place is five, six, seven. So this place is going to be five, six, seven plus one, three, one, five. That will give us one eight eight two. This point is going to be one one eight one eight eight two, which I have actually mapped out here. Then the last one is going to be this is one one eight two plus from here to here is five six seven. You're going to add five six seven to one one eight two, 
which is going to give you two, four, four, eight. So from here, this is the beginning is zero. Here is five, six, seven. This point is one, eight, eight, two. This point is two, four, four, nine. You will also do the same thing along the Y. The beginning here, this is the beginning of the origin. It's going to be zero. From here, to the, the distance between here and here is two, one, three, four. So zero plus two, one, three, four will give you two, one, three, four. So you have two, one, three, four here at this point. So you have your answer, two, one, three, four at this level here. Okay. So those are the values which we will use to form our grid. Okay. So um, although I've done the work already here, but I'm going to do it all over again. So let me open um, a new drawing. Already in the previous video, I already showed you how you can arrive at this location, the point where we have. So we're after everything, I, I'm on modeling tab. Since we want to model a structure, we are supposed to be on the structural tab. So let me take you to the structure tab. While I'm, I want my, you to see my menu bar clearly and my ribbon, that's why I am using a, a white template. Okay, so you, you are gonna stay on the structure tab. So you click structure. When you click structure, this is the structure ribbon here. So first and foremost, like I said, I, I've already showed in my previous video, in the first video I did, how you can get to this point. So when you get to this point, you click on plan 3D, right click, new folder, Let's call it a drain tank folder. Okay. Then you click on that folder, the drain tank folder which you've created. You right click on it and you click new drawing. New drawing. What do you want to do? You want to draw? Drain tank skid. So let's call it a skid drain tank. Okay. So we've named it a skid for drain tank. So the next thing we're, we'll do right now is um, we'll move over our, this is our drawing area for the skid drain tank. So, uh, okay. So come over here, where you have custom view. Where you have custom view, change the view to Southwest isometric. So having changed that to Southwest isometric, make sure this is on realistic. Your visual style control is on realistic. So the next thing you're gonna do is, um, the next thing we're gonna do is for us to um, um, create our grid. We're gonna create our grid, which I just explained that our grid will be based on center line. So, how do you create grid? Move over. Make sure you're on structure. This is structural ribbon now. After member, you have grid. Click, click on grid. So now our grid name, let's call it SKID, S-K-I-D. Then make sure this is on UCS. That is um, user coordinate system. Okay, so add this value. The first thing we have there is axis value, and then we have axis name, which local x. We have axis value and axis name, where we have local x. This has to do with the x coordinates, which we've already formed already. So those values, we're going to enter them here. 
the first one is zero comma let's check let's go and check okay it's not allowing us to go back okay so what i'm going to do now let me just cancel and go back and, and write them out let me, let me write the values out so that i can call them Zero five six seven one eight eight two two four four nine. Then along the Y, we have zero two one three four. Okay, so right now, um, I come back here, I click on green. So the first value is zero. We type zero, followed by a comma. Our next value is um, five, six, seven, comma. Next value is one, eight, eight, two, comma. Our next value is two, four, four, nine, okay? Then we go to the row value. The row value is associated with the Y value. Here you see row name, local Y. So for our y row value, we have just two values, zero and two, one, three, four. So you type zero, comma, two, one, three, four. So now platform value has to do with elevation, the z value, the vertical value. Since we have just one value, we will leave it the way it is. We will leave it the way it is, okay? So, now we've typed this value, but it's not recognized on the right hand side. How do we make you recognizable? You are going to come here to this arrow here. You click on this arrow and it's not, it is now recognized. Then you come here, click on this arrow and the value is recognized here. Come here, click on this, it is recognized. So now it's, let's adjust our font size. Let's keep our font size at, at 200. Or let's make it 100. Then click on create. Okay, it has been created. Okay. Um, so we've actually created our, our grid right now. This is the grid we're going to make use of in creating that structure. But before we close for today, I just want to show you how to create uh, layers. We didn't create any layers, just in no, like a normal AutoCAD, you can actually create layers. So for us to create layers, I'm gonna to go to layer properties here. It's still on the structure ribbon. You click on layer properties and you come over here, the first book over here, this symbol that looks like a book, you click on it when you see new layer. Then you're gonna type grid, G-R-I-D. We're gonna leave it as white. We're going to use a white grid. So you click anywhere and our grid has been done. Okay. So we'll close it here. So for um, at this stage right now, we've um, actually come to the end of the tutorial. So in the next video, we will actually, I will now then show you how to then generate the 3D model of the scheme from the grid, which we've actually created. If you have any question, please drop your questions in the comment section. Or if you have any, if you want to get in touch with me, you can chat me up on WhatsApp on plus two, three, four, eight, zero, three, eight, two, nine, five, one, eight, five. And please, I will please please you to, to subscribe to our channel and like our video, drop your comments and share it with your friends.
you can also click on the bell icon so that whenever we upload videos you'll be notified of our new videos and tutorials so i really appreciate your hooking up to our lesson so bye i'll be signing off now till the next lesson so please don't miss the next class where we'll be looking at how to actually uh, now create generate the 3d model of ski so bye